Graham. Oh, hello, my name's Lucy Brown and I'm here at Fest. Do you want me to say who I am or any, like, uh, my yeah, type? Uh, oh, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, okay, that's so, fine. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Tell me mm -hmm. a little more about your presentation. What did you came okay. to here? Mm -hmm. So, um, I was delighted to be invited to FEST to talk about a really important issue that's very close to my um, heart. So, it was about real women, so women in film, um, and how they can overcome barriers and carve the career that they want to in the film industry. Uh, we are talking about uh, all kinds of uh, women in the film industry, actresses, uh, directors, everything. Yes, absolutely. So women in, in the broadest possible sense and covering all kinds of careers. Um, I mean, I had quite a few people from uh, film schools who are just starting, but also uh, more established uh, women who are, you know, have been working in the industry for a while. So it's a really brilliant audience of, of, of people from all over the world, in fact, from Canada to uh, Romania. So we know that this is a man's world, mm -hmm. it still is a man's world, how can we overcome that? Okay, so I mean it's quite complex and there's not just one answer. Um, I think you know one of the things we have to be aware of is unconscious bias uh, that can be limiting and, and um, you know st but also the kind of so assumptions that you know it is a you know assumptions that this is a man's job that a director is someone who is white and a man uh, well it doesn't have to be the case so I was hopefully inspiring everyone with uh, words of wisdom uh, about actually how women can break down those assumptions and those biases uh, and also on the other side of things the kind of more structural um, sexism that women encounter, uh, whether it's you know the long working hours uh, that might infringe on on being a carer, or um, uh, sorry, <laughs> okay. I was just trying to think. Yeah, yeah, okay, you edit it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So a whole there's a whole a whole range of things, but there's also um, women who are out there and they're blazing a trail. And, um, and, and sort of setting those goals and, and being aware of the limitations people can um, work, uh, work to overcome them. Do you think in mm -hmm. the last years with uh, movements like Me Too, mm -hmm. things get better or no? Yeah, no, absolutely. So I think um, after M Me Too, women felt emboldened to really talk about the um, harassment or the bullying that they had faced and um, it created a whole movement uh, where women were going I'm not going to put up with any um, inappropriate behavior uh, and that sort of support and um, that huge community of not just women but male allies uh, was really uh, vital and has helped people and, and I know so many people, former students of mine, who have, um, you know, um, uh, told about their experiences and are working in the industry uh, doing incredibly well and it shows that you don't have to um, hide, um, you know, you, you, can, uh, you can stop um, behaviour that's, that's inappropriate. Uh, that's the part where you are trying to change people's minds in the, and, and in festivals like this that is the way I think festivals like this are fantastic. So um, even the uh, the choice of the opening film uh, was by a female director. Um, it was a um, quite, a, I suppose, what you would think of as a, maybe a woman's film, a domestic issue around being a new uh, mother. Um, it was fabulous, and it really meant that men who might have said, "Oh, I don't fancy watching that because it doesn't resonate with me," they were all in this room in this incredible theatre, and um, and they and it's opening their mind you know it's these are enriching stories there are so many different stories women aren't a homogenous group uh, we all have different stories to tell um, and that enriches the cinematic experience for everyone uh, and do we need laws to laws to change sorry what do you mean laws to, to change the, the, the way that the oh the laws oh I see sorry yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. okay betrays me sorry okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I think there's a lot of different things people can do. So that there, there are some laws in place, as there should be, a, around um, you know equality, diversity, and, and inclusion. Um, but it's about giving up 
giving space to make sure that cinema is available and accessible for people regardless of, of their background, whether they have disabilities, whether they come from a working class background, uh, whatever their gender might be. Uh, we need to push back on the way things have always been done. A lot of people go, but you know, this is how we make films. I have this big male team and this is what we do together. Well, you know, question those assumptions and say actually there are new ways of doing things and this is this is the way we can do things and it'll be better for everyone and the end experience uh, on the cinema is better. Okay. And mm -hmm. How was uh, or how is it mean the, the experience in the festival? Oh yeah I mean it's been absolutely fabulous um, so the masterclass was brilliant it was a really interactive uh, forum where women felt that they could speak out and we had male allies uh, in the room as well and uh, you know that's really important because it's not just a women's issue it's everybody's issue um, and you know I think what I love about Fest is the opportunity uh, to speak to filmmakers um, very high caliber filmmakers from all over the world they give you your time there's networking dinners uh, you know there's brilliant masterclasses, uh, brilliant films, and uh, and it's like a, a lovely, happy family. So I'm I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. And about the town of uh, Ispin. Okay. Yeah, I love Ispin. I mean, obviously, it's a festival on the beach, which is hard to beat, um, and uh, and it's easy to sort of navigate, and um, every a lot of things are in this in this beautiful space. So uh, it's a it's a fantastic festival, and it's definitely one of my favourites. Thank you. Was that okay? You got everything yes, you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. My English lost. Uh.